another great implication of the resurrection for us is because Jesus died and rose again, he was then able to ascend. And that's the next part of the story, isn't it? The ascension that Jesus uh, ascends to heaven to be with his Father. And we know that he's seated with the Father now, right now, and that he's interceding for us. He's praying for us. He cares about us, even though he's not uh, physically present with us. Uh, Hebrews chapter 4 puts it like this. Hebrews chapter 4, verse 14. Therefore, since we have a great high priest who has ascended into heaven, Jesus, the Son of God, let us hold firmly to the faith we profess. For we do not have a high priest who is unable to feel sympathy for our weaknesses, but we have one who has been, who has been tempted in every way, just as we are, yet he did not sin. Let us then approach God's throne of grace with confidence so that we may receive mercy and find grace to help us in our time of need. Uh, in, in our prayers, uh, as we come before God, we approach a throne of grace. Uh, we come to Jesus, we come to the Father, we come to the Father because Jesus has mediated for us. And we come before him freely and with boldness and with great confidence as the Father's children, bought by the precious blood of Jesus. And all of that because he has ascended. And all of that because he has risen from the grave.